What's up guys, we are not gonna waste time, we are gonna start with this routine with some false grip pull-ups for 5x5. Five five. If you can use a false grip, do it. If you can't, I have a video on the channel that will help you with that. I will link it down below. Since we are stuck at home, we might as well train our weak points. Mine is obviously the false grip. That's why I am doing it right now, but if you don't want to do it, you can swap it out for a regular grip pull-up or another variation but if you're gonna try it I'll, I can tell you is to fight the urge to get back into a pronated grip and if you feel you're sleeping hold it harder and readjust if needed and for the exercise it's just a regular pull-up only the grip is challenging you for the most part the next exercise after we did the vertical pulling exercise is gonna be the horizontal one obviously. We're gonna do some false grip rows. Just like the pull up, it's the same exercise like the regular version, but this time you use the false grip. Make sure to adjust the difficulty by modifying the leverages and pull explosively and as hard as you can and do the negative slowly it will be easier to hold the grip on the rows but here as well hold it as hard as you can and if you are sleeping readjust just don't let it go into a regular pronated rows so you can become so you can become stronger and do advanced exercise like the full front level rows with the false grip i'm almost there for the most part i just need to practice more The next exercise we are gonna do is some ring face pulls. Let's improve our posture, work one of the most underdeveloped muscle, the rear delt, you guessed it. You could do it as well on your push day, but since it's a pull movement, we might as well include it in our pull days and get the benefit. I've done it a lot on the channel, so to do it properly, pull yourself in between the rings, rotate those shoulders and try to get your thumbs behind your head. We're going for at least 4 by 12, like the rows, you pull as hard as you can, lower down slowly and you can add a pause at the top if you want. The last exercise, some might want to grow bigger biceps with or body weight during those times. The ring curls will do that for you. Let's go for 4 by 12 as well. You can do them slow to get more time under tension. Hold it at the top, modify leverages, you name it. You have a lot of options to make some sweet bicep gains with this one. And a simple exercise curling or own body weight on the rings and that's pretty much it guys I, I hope you enjoyed it feel free to drop a like a comment tell me what I should do next in the comment a like would help as well share it with anyone you might think it would benefit from this video and even subscribe if you haven't already and here's the highlight of my training some one arm chin up reps i did six sets of two and those reps were the last i did on that day and with that i will see you on tuesday and friday so peace out and bye